Have you ever pondered over the mysteries of the universe? Ever wondered what lies beyond the galaxies and stars we see? Space, that vast expanse above us, is filled with wonders that continue to baffle and intrigue us. One such marvel is the KBC Void, an immense, relatively empty region of space, named after the astronomers Ryan Keenan, Amy Barger, and Lennox Cowie, who discovered it in 2013. This local underdensity has sparked countless pieces of literature and research articles, and its existence has been the subject of intense debate within the scientific community. Its sheer size, roughly spherical and approximately 2 billion light years in diameter, makes it a fascinating anomaly in our universe. But what is this void? Why does it matter? And what secrets does it hold about the nature of our cosmos? Join us as we journey into the heart of the KBC void, an anomaly that might just hold the answers to some of our biggest cosmic questions. The KBC void is a colossal, relatively empty region of space. Picture a sphere of staggering proportions, roughly 2 billion light years in diameter. This scale is genuinely unfathomable, dwarfing even the grandest of cosmic structures we are familiar with. Yet, despite its name, the KBC void is not entirely void. It houses a cosmic menagerie of celestial bodies, including our very own Milky Way, the local group, and a substantial part of the Laniakea supercluster. So while it may lack the density of galaxies seen in other regions of the universe, it is far from empty. The position of the Milky Way within the KBC void is an intriguing aspect. Our galaxy resides within a few hundred million light years of the void center. It's akin to living in the heart of a celestial desert, with the nearest cosmic cities, the galaxy clusters, being hundreds of millions of light years away. Now, let's delve into the unique gravitational dynamics at play within this region. The KBC void, like other cosmic voids, has a curious effect on the galaxies within it. You see, galaxies inside the void experience a gravitational pull from the matter outside the void. This pull results in a larger local value for the Hubble constant, a measure of how fast the universe is expanding. This is not just a trivial fact, it has significant implications for our understanding of the universe's expansion rate. The discrepancy between the measurements of the Hubble constant using different methods has been a long-standing puzzle in cosmology. Some scientists have proposed that this discrepancy could be due to the unique gravitational dynamics within the KBC void. However, the final word on this is yet to be written. Other studies have found no evidence for this hypothesis, arguing that the scale of the claimed underdensity is incompatible with observations extending beyond the void's radius. Interestingly, galaxies within the KBC void experience a unique gravitational pull, leading to a larger local value for the Hubble constant. This aspect of the KBC void is just one of the many mysteries that make it such a fascinating subject of study in astronomy. The Hubble constant is a crucial measure of the universe's expansion rate. This cosmic yardstick tells us how fast the universe is growing, acting as a key to understanding the age, size, and fate of our ever-expanding cosmos. Now you might be wondering, how does the KBC void fit into this? Well, some researchers have proposed an intriguing theory. They suggest that the KBC void might be a possible cause for the discrepancy in Hubble constant measurements. Here's the idea. Galaxies inside a void, like the KBC void, experience a gravitational pull from outside the void. This pull can yield a larger local value for the Hubble constant. So, if our Milky Way, along with the larger part of the Laniakea supercluster, is nestled within the KBC void, this could potentially account for the higher measurements of the Hubble constant using galactic supernovae and Cephid variables. These measurements typically clock in around 72 to 75 kilometers per second per megaparsec. On the other hand, measurements of the Hubble constant derived from the cosmic microwave background and baryon acoustic oscillation data give us a slightly lower figure, around 67 to 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This discrepancy has puzzled scientists and led to what is known as the Hubble tension. However, not everyone is sold on the idea that the KBC void is to blame. Some studies have found no evidence supporting this theory, suggesting that the scale of the underdensity claimed in the KBC void is incompatible with observations which extend beyond its radius. Despite the conflicting views, the possibility remains that the Hubble tension might indeed be caused by outflow from the KBC void. In the grand cosmic drama, the KBC void could very well be playing a more significant role than we ever imagined. 
The formation of the KBC void, much like other cosmic voids, is tied to the universe's evolution. It's a fascinating tale, one that takes us back to the dawn of time and the early universe. Let's delve into the main ideas behind the birth of the KBC void. First up, initial conditions. In the newborn universe, matter wasn't evenly distributed. There were small variations in density, with some regions more packed than others. These inconsistencies set the stage for the formation of denser structures like galaxies, clusters, and indeed, voids. Next, we have the gravitational contraction of matter. Picture this. Denser areas like the schoolyard bully started pulling matter towards them, amassing even more mass. On the flip side, regions with less density, lacking enough matter to hold onto, gradually emptied out. The universe, it seems, has always been a place of haves and have-nots. Now let's talk about the expansion of the universe. As the cosmos stretched out over billions of years, voids like the KBC void also expanded. The bigger they grew, the more evident they became. It's like watching a balloon inflate. As it expands, the empty space inside also grows, becoming more noticeable. The final piece of the puzzle is a combination of factors. Global variance of the universe's initial conditions could have played a role. Moreover, the presence of deficit zones of matter, resulting from random fluctuations during the early phase of expansion, could have contributed to the formation of the KBC void. So putting it all together, the KBC void likely formed due to a blend of these processes. Regions of initial weak densities through the mechanics of expansion and gravitational dynamics morphed into this vast void. It's a testament to the universe's ability to create something out of seemingly nothing. A dance of matter and energy choreographed over billions of years. In essence, the KBC void isn't just an enormous void, it's a cosmic canvas. A testament to the universe's grand saga of creation and evolution. The KBC void likely formed due to a combination of these processes turning initial weak densities into an enormous void. The KBC void in its vast emptiness holds significant value for our understanding of the cosmos. Its sheer scale and profound emptiness may seem inconsequential at first, yet it's precisely these characteristics that make it a subject of immense scientific interest. The KBC void serves as a living laboratory, a colossal petri dish if you will, where the laws of the universe are put to the test. Its properties, such as its gravitational effects and the Hubble constant, provide valuable insight into the universe's structure. They allow us to scrutinize and refine our current cosmological models, making them more accurate, more precise. Furthermore, the KBC void helps us understand the nature of the universe's expansion. The discrepancies in the Hubble constant measurements, influenced by the void, have sparked a lively debate among scientists. This has led to the reassessment of our current theories and the development of new ones. It's like a cosmic puzzle where the KBC void is a crucial piece that we're still trying to figure out where it fits. Moreover, by studying the KBC void, we get a glimpse into the universe's evolution. The formation of such a large void is closely linked with the birth and growth of the cosmos. It's like a window into the past, enabling us to see how the universe has changed and how it might continue to evolve. The KBC void also holds implications for the future. As we continue to delve into its mysteries, who knows what new discoveries lie in wait? Perhaps it could lead us to a greater understanding of dark matter, the role of gravitational forces on large scales or even challenge our fundamental understanding of the universe itself. The KBC void therefore is not merely an empty space but a key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. The KBC Void, a seemingly vacant region of space, is a profound cosmic phenomenon. It's a reminder of the immense complexity and vastness of our universe. This colossal void named after astronomers Ryan Keenan, Amy Barger and Lennox Cowie is not entirely vacant. It harbors the Milky Way, the local group, and the larger part of the Laniakea supercluster. The intriguing aspect about the KBC Void is its gravitational pull, a pull that affects the value of the Hubble constant a measure of how fast our universe expands. This has sparked much debate and opened up new avenues of cosmic research. The formation of the KBC void is tied to the very evolution of our cosmos, a testament to the intricate dance of matter and gravity that shapes the universe. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember, there's a vast, intriguing void out there, full of cosmic secrets waiting to be discovered.